What's up guys? For today's video, I'm doing an unboxing, installation, and review of the Better Boat retractable transom straps. In preparation for this video, I did some research into the different transom straps. I decided on going with the Better Boat brand because they offer a stainless steel version at a price range that's literally better than everything else on Amazon. Better Boat actually contacted me out of the blue and asked me if I wanted to check out any of their products for an upcoming video of mine. Considering I'd already selected their transom straps to go on my trailer anyway, I said absolutely and let them know. Better Boat didn't give me any restrictions on anything I can talk about, so this is going to be my full, honest opinion on their retractable transom straps. Let's get into it. Let's go ahead and open them up and see what they look like. So it comes with a little uh, card on how to use them. Let's take a look. Okay, these are really nice. Now, are these stainless? Because that was something I was going to try to look for this time was stainless hardware. I don't go anywhere with salt water, but you always want your metals to last as long as you can on a trailer. You know, I want to make sure I tell you guys the right thing. These look stainless. This would be an absolutely killer deal because stainless retractable transom straps are really expensive. They go for like 100 to 120. Okay, so I have their listing pulled up. This is the uh, one inch version and these are stainless. Okay, so they're about $56. Wow. If you search for retractable transom straps and then stainless, I mean, there you go. Starbright's number one is $85. Boat Buckle's $122. Some no-name company is $85. So honestly, this is why I was already going to be buying their straps because it's stainless hardware at a really affordable price. All right, so retractable transom straps, the way they work. This mounts onto your trailer. This always stays on your trailer, so you never have to take this off. So when you're ready to tie down your transom, you usually push a release. This lets it come out. You go ahead and hook this onto your transom. I'll hook it onto my uh, cabinet up there. Then all you're doing at that point, uh, let's see how it releases again. You release it again to get back to the cranking mechanism. And then you're done. Then it's trailered. And then when you're ready to launch the boat, you just release the tie. This comes off. Now I'm a little weary about doing this in my hand, but it pulls it right back on and everything is self-contained right on your trailer. It is a quality of life, super convenient way of trailering and handling your transom strap. So whether or not you go with Better Boat, retractable transom straps is honestly the way to go. It looks like you can mount this to your trailer and then this to the bracket to like offset it off the trailer if you needed to do that. Now, the one problem I ran into with the last one of these I installed was that the bolts were too short for the trailer but who knows, maybe it'll surprise me. So let's go ahead and bring this over to the trailer and check it out. So normally, this is how it looks. You've got your ratchet straps here. To get these off, you have to release the ratchet. So you can get some line off of them. And then these come off. Now you usually throw these in the back of your truck or you know throw them in your boat somewhere and then deal with them again when it's time to trailer up. Now, if we can get these uh, retractables bolted up here somewhere, this will all be self-contained. Now, what I'm seeing right off the bat is that these bolts are gonna be too short, I think. But this trailer actually has tie-off points here. I should be able to just bolt this right on like that. Maybe like that. Huh. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that might be in there. No, yeah, that'll be out of the way of the, uh, the light too. Something cool that the other ratchet straps that I've used before did not have available was this angled mounting bracket. You can use this to attach to your trailer and put this at a different angle to line up with your transom better. Mounting hole in the back, put the stainless bolt through here, thread it through, put the washer on the other side, and the nut. All right, so we got an 11 16 socket and a 9 16 wrench. Let's get this on as much as we can. All right, so with the ratchet strap uh, loosely tightened down, I'm gonna go ahead and crank this down in place. That way this will orient itself in its natural position. And then I'll go ahead and tighten up the bolts. Okay, so that right there is where it wants to sit. That gives it the straightest angle to the ratchet. So now I'm gonna go ahead and tighten everything down. All right, well, the install was pretty painless. You'll either have to drill a hole through your trailer and put the bolt in that way, or if you already have a mounting tab, you can just put the bolt through there. 
So now to demonstrate why this thing is so awesome and how you use it, basically this always sits on your trailer as it is. When you're ready to tie up your transom, you unlock it from the bottom. See, there's a blue tab here. You unlock it and push it all the way down. This lets it come out freely. You hook it onto your transom and then you hold the blue tab and you pick it up. So it's in ratchet mode now. You ratchet it down and now you're good to go. You are fully ratcheted and ready to take it on the road. Now, when you get to the boat ramp and you're ready to launch your boat, you press the blue tab down again to unlock it. This just comes up, you take this off, and then my favorite part, you push the blue tab again, it retracts right back onto your trailer. You never have to find them, you never have to mess with the ratchet straps, and you're just good to go. By far, my favorite boat trailer upgrade, bar none. This just makes your day-to-day -day boating so much nicer. All right, so with that being said, with this one installed, I'm gonna go ahead and throw the other one on now. All right, so again, I'm just gonna leave this snug so it can be turned. Hook it up and start cranking it down. All right, that's where it seems to be happy. Okay, uh, like I was saying, these are usually used to go through the width of a trailer. So just these little tabs are a little bit short, which is why the bolts stick out like that. But I think that I could just go find a couple of replacement bolts and this will be a lot cleaner. They have a really good ratcheting mechanism. The spring to retract the straps back in is really strong. Good plastic molded handles. Honestly, I don't have anything to complain about. If I had to nitpick as far as what could be improved, maybe some bolts of different sizes. So if you guys wanted to check these out, you can buy them directly from betterboat.com or I'll also have an Amazon link in the description where you can pick them up there. All right, well, this last one's a small one, but if you're like me, it's the only thing keeping your trailer from rolling down your driveway, and that is a good set of wheel chocks. This was something else that Better Boat was awesome enough to send me to try out. My wheel chalk, as it currently stands, is currently cracked in half, and I only have one. Okay, so this is actually pretty cool and something that I've not used before, and I was really excited to try this out. So this is a wheel chalk for your front swivel jack. So you can actually roll your jack into this uh, plate here, and it will keep it from rolling around. I thought this was a really great idea and not something I've ever used before. Aside from that, we have our wheel chalks here. I've never seen them with handles either, so that's pretty cool. It's ribbed at the bottom, so if you're on a you know a gravel surface, it'll bite in that way. And then these, I'm assuming, are for smooth surfaces like a garage. You know, I was kind of joking to myself about like who needs handles on these things, but literally just having to take them over to the boat, I had to like fumble around and I was like, oh no, I'll use the handles. And look at that, they're useful. So like I was saying, I only have just a very basic one in there now. I really like that they got those pads on the bottom. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, that'll definitely keep this from moving around. My garage is not very level and the boat tends to drift back and forth if I bump it from one side or the other. So this is a perfect way to keep this all in place. A trailer jack wheel chalk, really great idea. And this seems as good as the next. So we'll go ahead and throw this last chalk on there. Perfect. I'm seriously happy with the Better Boat products. You know, I'd have told you if this felt chintzy or not good, but honestly, 50 bucks for retractable transom straps that are stainless steel. You know, chalks are chalks. I think it's cool. It's got the handle and the anti-slip pads on it, but the front trailer jack chalk, that's just a cool thing. I never dealt with it before, never used it, but I'm really happy I have it now. All right, well, if you guys found this helpful, definitely let me know by hitting that like button. If you wanna follow along with the Jumbo build and everything I got in store, don't forget to subscribe. I got some really cool things coming up for the boat and the trailer. I got one more tiny little problem to fix in the boat, and then I really hope to get this out on the water, try out the new motor and see how it works, and then start building the boat. All right, guys, thanks for watching.